Guys, hi, and welcome to uh, video number 20. Can you believe it? Yeah, 20. So this week we've been lucky enough to be invited by friends who've got a place in St. Ives. We've had a fantastic um, few days down there. Um, so please watch the video. At the end of the video, we've got some thoughts. And just as a, just as a maybe comment in the video, one of the places that we visited, I think is one of the most beautiful bays I've ever been to in the whole world. But uh, see what you think. So we're here in St Ives, with my friend here. Uh, we've come down to see Claire in St Ives and it's a beautiful day now after our very wet start in Northampton. So you can spend time just wandering around the town, the back streets, the harbour. There's lots of restaurants, pubs, ice creams to have. Um, as well as watching the fishing boats come in. Um, the, there is a mixture of shops um, from locally owned Cornish specialities to the traditional chains like Jewels and Crew. Five beaches around St Ives. There's Porth Widden Beach, that's where we did our uh, cold water swimming. Porthmere Beach is brilliant for surfing. You've got Porth Minster Beach, which is a really long um, beach, beautiful white sands. Um, then there's Bamalus Beach, which is a really small beach. Um, but again, we did some more cold water swimming from there. And then Harbour Beach. Lots of and then St Ives by night. Now we visited in April so it was fairly quiet but we loved wandering through the back streets. Definitely can't see the dogs behind. Anyway, it's great. Oh, look at that. We only ate out once while we were there but we went to this Thai restaurant, a Thai restaurant. It was brilliant food and great cocktails. I'm just going to this jazz club tonight. Here we go. Rum baby rum. Good morning. Um, we're going to go for a swim. It's eight o'clock. We must be mad. Anyway, we're going to go for a swim in the sea, so let's see how it goes. So this is Porth Widden Beach, and it was a brilliant beach for our open water swimming. It was nice and calm. It was very cold, um, but a good refreshing start to the day. did it not that bad <laughs> had the swim back showered and we're now walking to Carby's Bay and the sun's out absolutely glorious oh nice so the walk um to from St Ives to Carby's Bay takes about 45 minutes and it follows the southwest coast path uh, a very easy path Look at this, just glorious. We, we walked along here, there by those big houses. And uh, so this, Carby Spear Lodges, so these were where the G7 all stayed. And each of the rooms have the, a country. A joint 60th birthday present from our friends. This footage was filmed using our new DJI Mini 2 drone. It is palm sized and highly portable, incredibly easy to use. I literally learned how to use this on the beach. Full link to the drone in the description below. This is 
it's the drone's first outing. <laughs> so we took the cars to Godrevi Beach, which is at the far end of the St Ives Bay. Um, it's really popular with surfers, uh, walkers and dogs and lots of pebbles. So lots of pebble stacking competitions. One of the highlights of our three days was a visit to the Minnick Theatre and Porth Kono Beach. Um, the story of the Minnick is a tale of vision, dedication and the sheer hard graft of an extraordinary woman um, called Rowena Kidd. Absolutely amazing, the story. Uh, we didn't actually visit a performance, but next time we definitely would. And the theatre overlooks probably one of the most beautiful beaches that we've ever seen, Porth Kernel Beach. The seas were a vivid green. Um, we parked up um, a little bit further round from the theatre and walked down to the beach. It was absolutely glorious. The white sand, the green of the sea, uh, and Andy just had to get in. So I hope you enjoyed the video. What we'd like to do now um, is go through um, what we think are the real best bits. Yeah. Um, and then after that, some of the things that you might need to watch out for. So first of all, best bits. Um, I think once you're parked up, um, you could stay there and have plenty to do for the whole week. Yeah, yeah, definitely. It's really pretty. Um, you know, it's got this kind of quintessential Cornish um, vibe to it. Even even if it was busy, I think it would still hold that. Um, there are four beaches. Um, each beach has got its own, you know, individual characteristic. From a surf beach to a you know a chill beach for small children. Um, so I think there's a massive variety from that perspective. Um, and if you like shopping or it's a bit wet, there's a really good selection of shops from. Um, and good restaurants, so everything that you need. Yeah, and I think um, obviously we've got a dog, so um, you know it's, it's crucial for us to be able to go on nice walks, um, and even better if we can do it from the doorstop. And uh, basically, there are a lot of walks around there. Um, you can choose to stay, as Julie said, or actually, there's plenty to do in the vicinity if you want to get, jump in the car. Um, as you've seen in the video, we 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 we, we had a few trips. First of all, like Andy said, we have Teddy. Um, so if you were there through peak season, which can be anything from just July and August, from really from I May to October, that a, a number of the beaches are closed to dogs. Yeah, um, parking is really challenging, um, and not just parking. Actually, driving through the streets, you can imagine when it's really busy. Um, as as we said at the start, you know, we were here a, end of April you could see you very easily see yourself driving into the town and even before you're trying to find parking spaces being just sat in traffic for for ages there are out of town um park and park and ride and i would say definitely um if i mean if you if you're provisioning it then you probably need to provision before you get to your place shop and um, park um and then get out to one of the park and ride places because you will spend a big chunk of your time on your holiday looking for a parking space otherwise. So if you're going, enjoy. Um, and then the next video will be from France. Dordogne. In the Dordogne. Uh, so look forward to seeing you then. If you like our videos, then please like and subscribe. Au revoir. Au revoir.